I've got a button this time so you can stir it. You gonna read? You're not gonna take a picture of that, are you? Why should I? I don't want to read it. Don't want to read it. Okay. <laughs> well, you're already letting them know that you're reading it. I'm a piss poor producer. Welcome to the uh, Bill and Sandy Show. Second edition. Yeah, and uh, here we are in Weatna. Uh, you spell that with a Q U I A T E N O N. And you pronounce it Weatna. But if you're a Hoosier, you pronounce it Weatna. <laughs> We ought not what? We ought not done that. Across the uh, Wabash River here, extending about six miles southwest like the Great Wea Plains. Wea. Wea? Wea. Were the ancient home of the Indians and they were related to the Miamis who grew up in the Peru area on the Wabash. Now, the have been reached since the 17th century. The Fertile Plains, they cultivated and abounded in buffalo other wild game, bears, whatever. Beloved for its temperate climate, and rich provisions of food, it was described by one of their chiefs in 1795 as the sepulture of our ancestors. Sepulture? S-E-P-U-L-C-H-R-E. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I we'll have to look it up before. later. We'll get that. We'll, we'll do some editing on the show later. But that's it. That's the Wabash, the mighty Wabash. Want to go up to the fort? Yeah, we should go to the fort. Now that we see the Wabash. Mighty, mighty Wabash. Ooh, who's whistling? There's the fort up ahead. Watch out for frogs. Watch out for Indians. I want to see a frog. All over the place. Well, where are they? Tell me one. Them. Oh, there's one. Oh, I see one hopping. Look, 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 there he goes. Hey. He's so quick. Where'd he go? Quite easy to step on one. Well, I want to step on him. Look at he blends right in. You see him hopping? There he goes. Whoop, oh, there he goes. Hop, little froggy, hop. A gorgeous day. You gonna walk up to the fort? Where are you going? Why? Is that a bar? Look, there's somebody in the window. You got issues? You got issues? How do you zoom? Can you zoom? There. Sorry about that. It's okay. So you want to go up through the? Yeah, I want to go up through there. What, there's you, you eventually have to get to it. You're walking in grass the whole way. There's no path. No. This looks like a place where chiggers might live. Well, chiggers live all over, but I think that's what the grass, the frogs are feeding on the chiggers. You don't worry about it. Yeah, you don't worry about it. Well, it swell up like a balloon and get bit by one of the things. Ooh, look at that beautiful blue butterfly. Hang on, I gotta get it. There it goes. Beautiful. Ah, that's pretty. This was underwater a couple days ago. That's why the ground is so matted down. Nasty. All the chiggers had to move up here to this area. <laughs> So this is where you'll get your, your main sugar bites. Here, here the fort. Sure, there's a path. Do they make it pay to get in here? On the other side. That's what I thought. What? Mm -hmm. There's no path up here. This, yeah.
Well, where's the entrance? Uh, I don't know. Well, it's on the other side. This is the Blockhouse Museum. 1909, the local wow. chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution erected a monument along South River Road, marking the ground on which the fort was then believed to have stood. This is not your actual fort. Well, it sure looks real. Well, later, rich guy, <laughs> Dr. Weather, you know, <laughs> Lafayette, he financed the construction of this replica. Rich guy. Uh, tray of French trading posts. Yeah, uh, grounds from 1717 to 1791. So he was there a pretty good while. Wow. French were. And of course then the, uh, the uh, colonists came and ran the French and the Indians off. <laughs> Well, it says exit. Yeah. <laughs> that's during the feast. We're filming, if that's okay with you. <laughs> you. been to the feast? We've yeah. been to the feast a long time ago. Sure. Yeah, we're good buddies with Steve Wicker. You know Steve? Steve who? Wicker? I don't think so, huh? He used to have a... Or still does. Still with the... What's it called? Uh, they do re reproduct, re but re he does he does reenactments of this time period, not the Civil War. Mm -hmm. So he trades, does trade beads and mm -hmm. um, knives. What else? Oh wait a minute! What's his name? Steve, Steve Whipker. Whipker. Oh yeah, I, I never met the man. Well, I think I met him one year, but I bought a knife off of him. Huh? Yeah. He used, to, he used to sit up down here. Yep. Yeah. yeah. He goes to powwows and travels and he's all over. He's mostly into uh, blacksmithing now, isn't he? No. No, he still does trade beads and stuff, but he doesn't travel around as much. Mm -hmm. Just it's getting harder and harder to travel. All these shows change so much, yeah. and so what do you got going here today? Oh, we just oh. opened this up on the weekend. And this is awesome. People have questions, I try to answer. Trading post. This was just a trading post. It was never military. Although they had 14 militia, uh, French militia here, that was just to discourage the British who was on the other side of the Appalachians and Alleghenies. Didn't work. No, <laughs> no. You can discourage all you want to. There's a feather duster, actual feathers. That's fine. <laughs> A fan. Yeah. <laughs> could use one on a day like today. That, that's what the Native Americans use for a fan. And they're quite fan. effective. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's amazing. You don't even have to get close. You can, all of a sudden, it's just feels. And that's wow. used it. Wings off a turkey or whatever bird they had at the time. Mm -hmm. your playing cards. Yeah. They were smart enough back then you didn't have to say that it was a three of diamonds. <laughs> yeah, smart enough, but they just couldn't read. <laughs> well, they're, well, numbers, I don't know. They, they can count. Yeah. Numbers, and they knew what card was what. Yeah. But they couldn't, if you wrote a three on there, they didn't know what that meant. Isn't that funny? Three diamonds. Huh. I would, First year I was here, they tried to teach me some of those old games that they played with card games. Wow. And those artifacts are about 300 years old. Wow. Feast of the Hunter's Moon. We'll have to come this year. We haven't been for so long. It's always so nice. Yeah. Now we've been over to the new... Um, What's that place over by Brookston? Not Brookston. Yeah. Yeah. We went there right after it started, so we didn't really... I think we've been through the Pioneer House, but that's about it. They didn't really have anything developed for... Uh, it's getting a little better from what I hear. I have yeah. I've been there for a long time. 
They didn't have any Indian type things set up yet. Have any flags hanging up today? Yeah, we've got mice and daddy, we just don't bring them out. Oh, they eat the, they eat the flags. <laughs> they seem to like those better than the furs, even. Oh, you know, geez. we have had some fur, furs destroyed during the winter. From yeah, the yeah. Picking it apart and building the house. Reverend Anthony Fosher. First American priest of the West. Huh. It's nice yesterday with that nice breeze blowing through, but. It wasn't as hot out here yesterday as yesterday. Yeah. And, you know, the nice thing about this is when I first walked in here and opened it up, it's cool. Mm hmm. Boy, as soon as I opened up the doors and windows, Yeah, what did you do later? Is that a hiking stick? Actually, during the feast, we use that stick. We stick it up here and we have a rope so the people can't uh, back in there. Uh, oh. That, that was the main cause of the fur trade. Beaver hat. Very cool. Here's the beaver that they... Doesn't look anything like the hat. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. They must have stained it. Or... That's beaver. That's a winter kill beaver. And they're real fine fur back underneath the long sets. Oh. what they use for the It's more beaver. like a, it's almost like a felt. Oh, it's kind real, of. It's real but soft. I mean the, yeah. It's not like Davy Crockett's hat. No. no. There's Davy Crockett's hat. There, there you go. There's Davy Crockett's hat. Froze up a little bit there. Well. So where you guys live at now? Crockettsville. Crockettsville. Yeah, we just t came from the big city to uh, Lafayette and took the river road to. We're gonna go head down and see the Longhorn. Uh, Cattle. I'm not sure where they're at. They're off on the river. They're actually longhorn cattle oh, off really? down by between Petersburg and here. Is it Petersburg or Attica? Yeah. Something like that. Along the river road. It's a big home. There's a big uh, farm with longhorn cattle, like Texas mm. longhorns. I do not know it. Yeah. Yep. It's always interesting when you come upon some uh, Texas longhorns in the yeah. middle of Indiana. <laughs> Well, you ready to roll, baby? Yeah. Here we go, up Periscope. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know what she's talking about? It's live oh, streaming. It's live on the internet right now. Oh, it is. We don't have any followers yet, but we're we're hoping to make it big. We call there it. you go. We're doing a Sandy show. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> There's the, um, is that just like a, do they put skins over it during the fort, fort thing? Okay, we're off for another adventure. Keep following us. Here we go. Over and out. We don't want to flip the camera. <laughs> Double tap to flip the camera. That is not going to happen. I told you. What kind of cloud is that? That's a. I'd say that's a. Some jet that's in distress. Right. Putting out a signal. Somebody's in distress are going to be 
Okay. How do I cancel out? Stop the 